All right, YouTube Axis and Allies brethren, welcome back to the tour in Goldsboro, North Carolina, where we're doing UK round one of this Axis and Allies anniversary edition, version 1941 between LT and Corporal Panda as the Axis and uh, Private Joe and Captain Jack as the Allies. So for UK's uh, production this, this round, they are producing one battleship for 20, one industrial complex for 15, and one destroyer for eight. So 20, 15, is 35, plus eight is 43. So all 43 spent. All right, so there's two combat movements uh, for this turn. One is a, an actual walk-in. One infantry unit from Quang Tung is going down to French Indochina to capture the two IPCs and the um, national objective um, for that. So, UK will gain two IPCs and Japan will lose two IPCs for French Indochina Thailand. The second battle, we're we'll pan over here to France. We have one UK transport from C Zone 9 picking up one tank from East Canada and also one, one uh, British infantry from the UK and bringing it to land in France. Supporting this attack will be two fighters from the UK moving two spaces down and will have two spaces remaining in its fuel gauge. Also, a bomber from the UK will be moving two spaces down and will have four uh, spaces left in its fuel gauge. So we'll take that battle to the, uh, to the dice board now. So for the battle board, we have it set up here. We have one uh, British uh, infantry rolling at a black one-hit die. We have uh, two British fighters rolling at a three-hit die, one British armor division rolling at a three-hit die, and one British bomber division rolling at a four-hit die. Firing back will be three green dice from the German infantry division. But we'll do those, we're going to do those rolls separately because Private Joe likes to do them separately. All right, so here is the UK attack. And we've got no hits. So here is the German infantry firing back. One, two, three. Okay, guys, so after the bloodbath that was France, um, that seemed like a short time to you guys, but it was actually. <laughs> We had to we had to actually uh, take a few minutes to get over that. Um, uh, <clears throat> Private Joe is licking his wounds. I'm not sure I've ever seen anybody. Well, excuse me. I usually take those kind of beatings from him. He's not used to taking those kind of beatings uh, with the dice. But yes, what you did see did happen. Um, uh, a bomber, a two fighters, and uh, a tank, and an infantry. All four missed with an attack roll, and three uh, three German ground units, all three hit, destroying both UK land units and one fighter. So, <clears throat> but it is what it is. Again, it's what the dice does and it's how, the, how it rolls sometimes. And it seems like how it rolls all the time for us lately. So it's not just uh, LT's dice uh, that's, that doesn't like us. Uh, sometimes it's our own dice. So anyway, so for non-combat movements, the bomber and the fighter will move back to the UK. All right. The destroyer and transport in C Zone 41 will make steam and head two spaces to C Zone 30. The two infantry in South Africa will move north one space to Rhodesia. And I believe that's all the non-combat. Oh, nope, one other. Uh, infantry in Western Canada will move one space into Alaska. <clears throat> so placing new units. We've got one destroyer going into Sea Zone 7. We've got one battleship going into Sea Zone 7 and one industrial complex going into the Union of South Africa. So, there was no change in IPC values this round. Mm -hmm. um, 
Oh, sorry, there was one change. Uh, the UK went from 31 up to 33. Is that right, Private Joe? Yeah, it already moved up two spaces to 33. Um, <clears throat> the UK also um, is able to collect a few national objectives. Five for uh, having Eastern Canada, Western Canada, uh, Gibraltar. Um, nope, sorry, <clears throat> sorry, forgot. Um, does not have uh, does not have Egypt, so we'll not get five for the don't have any of those. I mean, don't have all of those. Um, any territory uh, originally under Japan's control, uh, that was the purpose of taking French Indochina. So there's a five IPC bonus there, and that is all. So next up will be Italy's turn, and I believe that'll be uh, Corporal uh, Corporal Panda. So this, but I'm going to do a unit recap. <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> one uh, UK tank in Eastern Canada, um, one factory, one fighter, one bomber, one artillery, one AA in the UK. In C Zone 7, we have two destroyers, one transport, one battleship. In Rhodesia, we have two infantry. In the Union of South Africa, one industrial complex. In Transjordan, two infantry. <clears throat> In India, there are three UK infantry, one artillery, one AA gun. In French Indochina, one infantry. In Australia, three infantry, one artillery, one AA gun. And in Alaska, one infantry. So that concludes this round. So from the turret room in Goldsboro, North Carolina, Captain Jack and Private Joe, over and out.